In this video, we're going to discuss nerve mobility or nerve gliding, as well as some first rib mobility. Now, nerve tension is common across all types of thoracic outlet syndrome. I know even with my venous TOS, as a post-surgical symptom, I would have some radiating pain down to my elbow, which was indicative of the radial nerve receiving some tension. Um, but whether it be the, the main nerves that you might express tension in are gonna be the radial, the median, and the ulnar nerve. Um, I recommend trying all of these techniques because you might find that you have tension in one area, but the nervous system is very complex. The brachial plexus moves and winds through the thoracic outlet. So by getting some benefit from one, you might also receive benefit by practicing another technique. Before we get into the specific techniques, I want you to think about the nerves as long wires that run all the way from your neck down into your hand. And if that wire is getting pinched or compressed or entrapped somewhere, then it's not gonna be able to send its signal out appropriately to the muscles. And the nerves, not only do they give you sensation, so when I touch the back of my arm, that's the nervous system lighting up and giving me feedback about where is getting touched, but it also controls the muscular function. So we get both the sensation, the feeling, and the motor output, the function, all from the nervous system. So uh, when we think about doing these nerve glides, I want you to think about flossing the nerve in various ways. So at times we can floss the whole system back and forth. Other times we can anchor one point and floss something far away, or we can stay fixed there and then move our head back and forth. So there's very, you can move the whole thing, you can move one side, or you can move the other side. All of them are gonna be beneficial, and how you dose that for yourself is really where you feel the most symptoms. What I always say is we wanna poke the bear, don't piss it off. What that means is we wanna challenge the nervous system to a range, but we don't wanna completely uh, go below past that point of stretch. So flossing it or moving back and forth is a great way to get that mobility without aggravating symptoms. So first, the median nerve. The median nerve runs down the front side of the hand and innervates these three and a half fingers here. So primarily the thumb side of the hand. What I want you to do is bring your hand up by your side, palm open, and then reach down and then stretch the fingers away. So you can just go back and forth here, or as you go into that position, which stretches out the median nerve, draw the shoulder down, and turn the head away. So that's gonna be the max stretch across the median nerve. There, palm down, fingers reach towards the floor, neck stretches away. Open and away. That's getting a big stretch all the way across the chain into the hand. What I would do is play around with just moving the hand and stretching the fingers, play around with depressing or bringing the shoulder down and getting that. I feel more tension there, absolutely. And then lastly, get in that shoulder depressed and then add some side to side neck motion with it. Just by moving my head, laterally bending it to the side, by doing this here, I feel more stretched down through there. That's the median nerve. Next for the ulnar nerve, make an okay sign with your hand, bring that up into this position. I call it the waiter's tip position. So if you're holding a tray there, and then we're gonna go back and forth here, stretch out, bring it up towards you here. Out again, and back. At that same point, think about depressing the shoulder down and then adding in some side bend, back and forth. As I mentioned at the beginning, there's no, there's no right or wrong on the specifics of how to do this. It's all based on symptom irritability and how much you can handle. So you might get some stretch just by lowering the shoulder down. As I drop my shoulder, I can feel more tension through this area. You might also get the most then as you turn your head away. If I go towards, it offloads the symptoms. As I go away, it brings on more tension. So we covered median and ulnar. Lastly is the radial nerve. And for this one, I want you to bring your arm, reach down towards the floor, turn your hand in towards you, so your thumb's turning towards you, and then curl your fingers under. We can start again by just doing that curl and tuck. That looks like this curl and then the hands come in which is going to stretch across here and then we can always add in the neck piece with it too to review median nerve palm open stretch away ulnar nerve okay sign stretch away radial nerve 
turn the hand in, curl the fingers under, and neck moves away. Anytime the neck is going away, that's gonna be the full expression or the max stretch on that nervous system. Remember flossing, moving back and forth through that. Don't just hold one position. Last thing I wanna talk about in this video is getting some nerve mobility. So with uh, neurogenic TOS, it's often compression between the first rib and the collarbone. And so one way that you can get more of this proximal, more central close to the body neural tension is take your opposite hand. So if it's on my right side, I'm using my left hand, provide some pressure down into the upper trap and the nerve, and then go move your head to the side. Or the most painful one, and sometimes the most beneficial, is to hold pressure down here, side, and then roll through almost a half circle of motion back and forth there. And what you'll notice is you feel more tension at various points of that range. So it's this half circular movement where you're getting stretch all the way, I feel it kind of up into the side of my head, down to that point where I'm pinning down the first rib. You can also use a, a strap that goes across your body and we can add in movement there or the strap with some neck motion. Um, there's various ways you can get that pressure down into the first rib. But the goal with that is one, to get the first rib moving a little bit more, two, to get the nervous system moving underneath the first rib. So that is various techniques to get the nervous system moving, the median, ulnar, and radial nerves, and to get the first rib moving, all of it to help with nerve gliding or nerve mobility.